what up it's your boy nwp and we're back at it once again with another video less than a week away from christmas hopefully you guys are getting festive and jolly and just completely excited about what's going to happen on christmas or you know potentially hanukkah or whatever holiday you might be celebrating but hopefully you're having a good time with friends and family and enjoying yourself relaxing etc etc Today, we're going to be talking about something that causes a lot of people stress in particular, and that's skill-based matchmaking and how the devs have addressed that they are looking into it. But first, if you enjoy the channel, how about taking the time right now to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. But how many times have you said something along the lines of, why am I level 500 and getting level 99s on my team? Well, it looks like the level 99 players are actually asking similar questions as we have a Reddit post that says, I am level 99, but every time I go in a match, it's full of level 500 sweaties with 20k kills. Not cool. Makes me frustrated. Now, I'm sure that that person is very frustrated, except I will say, and I will be absolutely clear, that when it comes to skill level in a game, there's a lot of people that don't get any better after years of play. So the level 500 isn't necessarily a signal that somebody is, in fact, amazing at a game. It, what it is, is a signal that they've played a lot and that they should be better at the game. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they are better at the game. Now, with that being said, everybody has said something along the lines of why am i getting these low level randoms why aren't they matching my skill level with their skill level and there's a million reasons behind why skill-based matchmaking functions the way it does but the reality is is that skill-based matchmaking in its best moments rarely works properly and in its worst moments completely destroys video games like makes them completely unfun and not enjoyable at all now, the fact remains that there are players at the top level like Warlord Shiv himself who can just decimate lobbies at any skill level, but that's not the majority or even the normal player base of a game. The normal player base of any given game is going to be subpar, not amazing. And when you force people to always play at what is their highest level or beyond their level, they tend to turn away from the game and not necessarily enjoy themselves. Even in professional sports, there's an ebb and flow of how badly you get beat up. You don't usually lose every single game horribly every single week. You get games where you're going to win. You get games where you lose, but at least it looked like you had a chance. And a lot of times we don't see that in Apex Legends. We see a, a very volatile form of skill-based matchmaking. And when I say volatile, I chose the, that wording very specifically because in response to that Reddit post, we actually have Xchinar replying and saying that they understand that pub matchmaking is a bit volatile at times and it's on their radar. Now, that means a lot to me because volatile directly means unstable, okay? A volatile chemical means it is not st you know, shelf stable. It could explode or do something else that you're not expecting to happen when it's just sitting there. And that really is the way that we currently have skill-based matchmaking in Apex Legends. The current iteration of the game basically puts us in a situation where you could have multiple games in a row that are the most brutal, unfair, unfun games ever, and then it could randomly put you in a lobby where you are making it unfun and unfair for everybody else in the game. Now, because of this... There is this huge flow of players that just don't understand the skill-based matchmaking. And when it comes down to it, there is a certain floor level and a certain ceiling level at which players, if they're way better than that ceiling, will feel like they're always in bot lobbies. And people that are at the floor will always feel as though the people in the lobbies are way better than them. So... There is a bit of an issue with that, and no, removing skill-based matchmaking will not particularly solve the issue of getting beat up by a sweaty team or third party. but what it will do is make it so that more matches are random in terms of skill level and that you don't know that every single match is going to be an ALGS championship. 
So there's a lot of stuff to be thought about when it comes to that. And stability, to me, again, would mean making the matchmaking system function how people would expect it to function. And that would mean that at least it tries to get you equal and or better teammates rather than putting whatever they can find on their, on your team and just filling the lobby. Of course, this is one of the main issues with skill-based matchmaking and similar, you know, systems is that when the player count starts to dwindle, that means it takes longer to find a match because you just don't have those players with that skill level at that time. So there is a lot to be desired when it comes to skill-based matchmaking in general and i'm hopeful that the new team here at respawn that's been you know actively replacing the old members of the development crew will actually give us something very interesting in the future that will add flavor and depth to apex legends rather than making it just a sweaty complete nonsense mess when you know a majority of the best players and the high-end content creators that are apex related and not apex related whether we're talking about hu or shroud we actually have two you know notable players in fps gaming that have both specifically said apex legends has a ranked mode why is there skill-based matchmaking to begin with if people want to play against similar or better or you know test their skills there is a ranked mode for that and i couldn't agree more i believe if there is a ranked mode you definitely should have some segregation of the population in terms of that casual player now do i think there should be absolutely no skill-based matchmaking at all nothing to somewhat you know make the play uh, a little bit better for everyone no i don't think that at all i think there's definitely room for uh, keeping the brand new players separate from the other players that have been playing for quite some time and understand the looting, the you know movement systems, the, the legend abilities, you know that kind of thing that aren't necessarily directly correlated to your gun skill and your movement skill. There's just a lot going on in Apex in general that make it a very fun game to play, but not necessarily the easiest to master. And with the future of skill-based matchmaking potentially being the gatekeeper for new players and you know the community growth overall i'm really pleased to see that the developers are actually taking time to speak about this particular topic and bringing up the fact that they would in fact be looking at it in a possible light to fix it from what we currently have but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Drop a comment down below. Has skill-based matchmaking been a plague or a thorn in your side? Or have you not been dealing with much of an issue when it comes to skill-based matchmaking and would prefer it to stay the same? Drop those comments down below. Let me know what your opinion is. This is obviously something that directly impacts you and every match you play. So it should be something that you get noted out in the public. And when it comes down to it, Josh Medina was actually over on Twitter asking directly about what we want to see changed in Apex Legends 2022. And I think a lot of people would like to see skill-based matchmaking changes, more bug fixes, more content in terms of limited limited time modes and, you know, challenges to actually complete and, com you know, complete. So a lot of interesting things there that I think need to be addressed. But definitely skill-based matchmaking is at the top of my radar for what really is causing the community to not enjoy themselves and stay in the game as long as they possibly can. And of course, guys, if you'd like to continue this conversation, head on over to the social media links. Give them a like, a favorite, a follow, whatever you haven't done already. And make sure you're ha hanging out and getting notified about what I'm up to as well. Because I'll definitely be getting back to doing giveaways here in the future. Obviously, a little bit of uh, a thorn in my side when it came to uh, this whole holiday season. I wasn't able to do giveaways because of the situations with the dog and my mom and just, you know, overall a lot of horrible stuff kind of like this l right here is just kind of unfortunate and uh yeah could have been a better situation but can't win them all and sometimes you gotta lose them in style and sometimes i'd rather lose in style than win like a, a rat but here's another video you can check out if you feel so inclined thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and hopefully you're having an amazing holiday season but also Remember that you won't be able to see the changes to skill-based matchmaking if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.